Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my stop along the Mercy Terra's 27 day challenge group inspiration hop. So Moira puts together amazing challenges uh, for a winter kind of crop and she asked a bunch of her very, very lovely YouTube buddies to hop along and show you some inspiration. So you saw the a sketch at the beginning. This is a card sketch. Now for the challenge more has this included in it can be used for anything. It does not have to be used for a card but I was really wanting to play with uh, this gorgeous beautiful stamp set that I had not had a chance to play with yet from Altenew and it's a beautiful flavor layered floral and so I decided that I was going to just go ahead and make a card. Cooper insists that someday he's going to be YouTube famous. Anyway, I left all of the layering stamps into in this video just so you could see how the blossoms layer up. This is the Dainty Bouquet stamp set from Altenew and they released it in January um, and it's quite lovely. I will also say that if you've never uh, used layering stamps before, this is not the one you want to start with. So I kept all the different layers in here so you could see how they layer together. I used a number of different uh, inks. So the green is Forest Glade and Evergreen. The orange is Autumn Breeze and Orange Cream. And then the background where I did the initial stamping of the whole design without the layers, that one is with Morning Frost. So we have a lovely set of colors here to make this pretty orangey flower. And I'm just going to continue here getting my layers onto my stamps and uh, continuing on. So this is the last little bit that we did. You'll notice here that the inks are getting darker because they're soaking into the paper. The paper I am using is actually from Altenew as well. It's um, like a speckled gray craft uh, type of a sheen to it. It doesn't have texture. It is smooth. But I'm not quite sure what the exact color is called. So next I'm taking one of these gorgeous. So I bought some scrappy supplies while I was at my retreat this past weekend and this is one of the things that I actually borrowed from my sister and fell in love with it and then came home with them. So these are called Nuvo Glitter Markers and they are fabulous. This color is called that I'm using here is called Golden Ochre. And it is from um, a set that was called Ember Glow. So this three pack also came with like a red color and an orangey color, but that gold is like the most gorgeous gold ever. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna trim this paper down. And this is gonna be the vo focal image for my card today. The next thing I'm gonna do is pull out another new supply that I got over the weekend at the retreat house, and that was these Picket Fence uh, life-changing brushes. So I'm sure you've probably seen these. They are quite popular, and um, I honestly was not big on the hype. I'll be honest, but I decided to try them because the retreat house had smaller sets of them, so they didn't have like only the huge 50 pack set. This was a smaller set, which means it also had a much more reasonable price tag on it, and. Oh my word, you guys, these brushes are fabulous, like fabulous. If you've seen some of the layouts where I get my stencil brushes out and I blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend the background, like to go behind a um, cut file, this is like so nice. Um, the best part about it is that your hands and your wrists don't get tired. So. You don't have that hand fatigue. You don't have, you know, the cramping in your hand. And that could just be me. But I seriously adore these. They are so nice. Um, so if ink blending is something you do a lot on your uh, layouts, if you like to put ink through stencils a lot or in your cards, I, I if you can find the smaller pack. So this is the four pack. Um, I don't know that I would go... I don't know if I would spend $50 on the huge giant pack, but this little four pack is beyond fabulous and I adore it so much. So I inked um, using Mocha and Rouge 
ink. Now I'm just going to clean up my area a little bit and get on to making the rest of the card. So I decided to pull in products from Pink Paisley's Auburn Lane. I just felt like um, I kind of set that nice, lovely stamped panel off really well. And I liked um, how it contrasted, but also went together. And so I'm really just going to follow pretty much exactly. Um, I'm going to use this rouge ink to ink up the edges of the different layers to give them some depth and dimension. Uh, and yeah, I'm doing that with my life-changing brushes instead of my ink blending tool because it's so much nicer. Um, yeah, <laughs> you guys, wait, they're the best thing ever. They're, seriously, those brushes are the best thing ever. I'm not even joking. Um, so I'm going ahead here. I'm not quite sure why I left this part into the video. Other than maybe I was looking for my tape runner and couldn't find it. I think that that was what was going on there. I lose my tape runner like you would not believe on a daily basis, like constantly. If I can lose my tape runner, I'm losing my tape runner. It's going to happen. Oi. So now my puppy Fitz has decided that he wants to be a YouTube star too. And uh, for your enjoyment, he's playing the squeaky toy interlude for you. Yes. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm just using these two little strips of paper as a base to kind of anchor this stamped panel to my card. And then I'm gonna work on deciding on a sentiment for my card. I have been watching a lot of uh, Kathy Zilski videos quite recently. And so now I just have the urge to say thank you a lot. I don't know. Anyway, if you've ever watched her videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> she is like the wittiest, cutest YouTuber ever. I adore her. So I'm going to add uh, some little stickers, some little heart stickers. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I'm going to go through these stickers a bunch of times because I thought about using a sticker sentiment, but in the end, I opted to go through the stamps that I had with me, and I chose this one, and it says, wishing you the very best. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. First of all, that is one long sentiment, and I cut it in half, and then I'm going to grab my Memory Misty. I'm going to add the sentiment to it, but first, I need to clean up because cleaning up is what I do. So now that I have my sentiment on to my card, the next thing that I am determined to do is to get some splatters going on. So I feel like this card needs some splatters. And I'm gonna grab my Night Moves in Shimmer and in Glorious Day. And I'm going to use those two colors to add some splatters. Oh wait, no, but first I have to get out the life-changing brushes one more time and just deepen some of the colors and some of the ink blending I've already done on this card. And now we're going to do the splatters. <laughs> so I really wanted the, I really wanted some splatters on this card. I felt like it would just be like the perfect little finishing touch. So I went ahead and added some night moves and some glorious day. And oh, look at how pretty. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out the YouTube hop lineup down below. And uh, you can go ahead and move on to the next person on our fabulous inspiration hub and here are some close-ups for you have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you all again soon bye